so there's a little summertime takeover going on this week. Today I'm going to talk you through some new things that I've added to my wardrobe and on Sunday I'm going to do a little summer beauty edit like I usually do and for this video I really wanted to do like a little capsule wardrobe like I've done in the past or a little lookbook but those I have to film at the weekends with Mark and currently our weekends are a little bit full because we're actually on the move which I'm so <laughs> excited about and the new place needs a lot of stuff doing to it so I never want to look a wallpaper steam stripper ever again. I currently spend my weekends just in pyjama like clothing stripping wallpaper off so I haven't really got the time to squeeze in any filming at the weekend so you're gonna have to do with a few like shaky cutaways here and I hope that's okay but just a quick note to say bear with me in like a month or two everything would have calmed down and I really want to film some videos in the kitchen and do some more style things but in the meantime if you could bear with me that would be gratefully appreciated. I can't stop grilling I'm literally so excited but going to talk through some new things that I've purchased recently for my wardrobe. I had a bit of a clear out. I think I'm going to do a video soon called like wardrobe makeover because I got rid of like a whole bin bag of stuff for the charity shop and I don't really even know where it came from but I'm kind of starting afresh with a lot of things. I feel like I want to be a bit more experimental with my wardrobe choices. You'll see that today but there's obviously still a lot of monochrome going on and I feel like let's let's get that out of the way first. Let's talk about that. I found these on ASOS and I think they're called the perfect cami, the ultimate cami and they do them in a set of three and I like that you get a white, you get a grey, you get a black. They look a little something like this. They're very strappy, they're very thin, perfect for when the weather warms up, perfect for if you're going on holiday and you just get one of these in every colour. Now I find that these fit really well, they don't cling unflatteringly on any places, they just hang really nicely, they've got a really pretty v-neck on the front and I do like a good v-neck. The only thing I would say with these is there could be a bit of a bra issue going on. I think it's got to be strapless or maybe a bikini underneath if you're on holiday and I think maybe some nipple covers if you're gonna go without a bra because the white one especially is quite thin and seeing as I don't have much going on in in the boobage department I could probably get away with not wearing one but if you have any nipple cover recommendations or do you just use plasters I'm not really sure how that goes then I would love to hear but I think these will be great just for wearing with like jeans really easy thing to throw on if you're just like running errands but also to pair with more fancy trousers perhaps but we'll get on to those in a minute another thing that I picked up from ASOS is this little necklace. It's from a brand called Island, but like I as in I, very clever, nice play on words, I really like it. They've got some really pretty jewellery. I was just kind of like browsing the jewellery thing. I thought I needed a bit of a necklace just to add a little something something to these camis or just if I'm wearing something quite plain, I do quite like to wear a little necklace and it's been a while since I purchased one, so I love this. It's gold plated, not the cheapest, but also not the most expensive and I just think it's very simple. It's like a little eye. We are zipping through through these today because already we are on to probably the thing that I am most excited about. I saw these on ASOS again, ended up picking them up in Reese in store because they didn't have my size available online. They kind of come in and out of stock, I'll link them up below. They are these from Reese and they are the Olivia floral trousers and look at those, there is some colour going on guys, I know, what the hell. I just fancy something a little different to wear on my bottom half, I'm completely a jeans and t-shirt girl and I thought you know what? I should probably venture into some trousers and it's been a long time since I've worn trousers. They're not like skin tight, they're not boot cut, I don't know, they're just like a straight leg kind of fit. They're very flattering actually and also very comfortable. They're not too high on the waist, they're not too low, they just sit really nicely and I, I like the look of these. If they did these in like a black or a grey I think I'd be tempted to pick those up as well. And I just think the print on these is so nice, it's quite like loud and I'm sure when my mum sees them she'll be like, great grandma you to have a pair of curtains like that. They're very floral but I like that you can just wear them with like my usual black tops, even like some of these camis. It's just something a bit different to your usual jean look. Now I picked these up in Reese, bought them, ripped out the tags, wore them, had a great time in them. Then I found a pair in Zara that are pretty much identical for about a third of the price. I took a picture of them when I was in Zara the other day, I'll link that here. Zara actually had a load of floral trousers in this. wasn't the only pair, there was about three or four different kind of floral variations they had going on, so I would definitely recommend heading there because they were significantly cheaper, but sometimes, you know, it's an investment and I'm sure I will get a lot of wear out of them because they're nice to have as like a smart casual option, which I really lack. 
back in my wardrobe. <laughs> now to go with the trousers, I had a bit of a dilemma because really with trousers like that, they just don't look that fab on me anyway with flat shoes. Like I can get away with it if I sort of roll them up and show a bit of ankle, but they just look a little bit better with a pair of heels. And I haven't got a lot of heels that are actually that comfortable. I've got the odd pair, I've got a pair from and other stories that are quite nice. A pair from ASOS that are mm, okay. So I wanted to find like an everyday pair that I could wear if I needed to walk quite far, and this is them. They're from Whistles, and they're called the Senna, I think, the Senna Navy heels, and they're quite high. There's like a decent few inches there. But I like that they're navy, something a bit different to black. They've got the gold detailing, and they are quite like padded at the bottom as well. And I've worn these a few times, and they haven't hurt me. I think because the leather's so soft, they don't rub really, and on the back as well, it's still quite a soft leather. Now another thing that I picked up from ASOS, and the final thing, is this skirt. It is from Warehouse, and it's like a nudie kind of peachy colour, and then on the bottom, it's got this little trim of lace that runs around the bottom. Quite girly for me, but I've been having a bit of a moment with Sincerely Jewels on Instagram. If you don't follow her, I'll link her up below. She's got amazing style, and I basically just want to be her right now. But she's always wearing skirts, and I'm like, you know what? I never wear skirts. In fact, in my wardrobe, I don't even think I've got another one there at the moment. So I thought I would go for like quite a neutral skirt that could be dressed up or dressed down. Like here I'm wearing it quite dressed down, but you could always wear it with the heels and maybe like a little vesty top if you were going on a night out. But I just like this. I like the fact it's got that lace. So it is quite dressy, but it can also be quite casual depending on what you wear it with. And it comes up quite high, which I like because it doesn't cut in. Gosh, I'm sounding like such a granny today. Everything will be linked up in the description box as always but thank you so much for watching I'm so excited to finally tell you about the move and I'm just excited for a new background and a new filming setup and it's all gonna be new and nice and lovely we're very excited so thank you so much for watching I will see you on Sunday with that summer beauty edit which looks a little something like this thank you for watching and I'll see you then bye few inches there. That's what she said.